Bob Hope was one of my childhood heroes, a comedian and so much more. He spoke one time about uh, going to an island to do a show, a comedy show that he did throughout the war for so many GIs. But he went to this group because they were headed to an island. The island was called Tarawa. It was going to be a bad one. And they estimated that they might lose, you know, almost 10,000 men of the 15,000 that were going to be invading that day. They feared two-thirds of them would be killed. And so he gave the best show he could for those scared kids. And so we flew over the next morning, and you knew when you walked out there that you're playing for 15,000 kids, that a lot of those guys you never see again. And as it worked out, 60% of those kids were knocked off. 60% of the troops that went in were killed of that 15,000. Terrible loss of life without question. At the same time, before that invasion happened, the Navy had shelled that island, roughly one square mile. The Navy shelled that island with a thousand ton of explosives. A thousand ton hit that one square mile. And they weren't done. The Air Force came in and they dropped 50 tons of ammunition and explosives on that island before the troops came in. And they still lost 60% of their men. Would there have been a better way, a different way? And the answer is absolutely. Some of the officers pushed awfully hard to get them to use nerve gas. They had it on board. If the Japanese used gas, they would use it on them too. But they said they could easily knock out any communication that island had, making whatever they did there in total secret, whatever happened. And then use nerve gas would have killed 99% of the Japanese immediately. Because even if they had World War I type gas mask, it would do no good against nerve gas. And they could have slaughtered all of those 2,500 Japanese Marines on that island without losing a single American life. And all of the ammunition that was spent to try to take that island. Absolutely. There was an alternative. If by chance you'd say at Geneva Conventions, we had to follow it. But rest assured, England had already prepared if Germany did get troops on their shores, they were going to use mustard gas. They were going to break the Geneva Conventions and use mustard gas. So rest assured, war means, as far as I'm concerned, and many of the nations around this world, will do whatever it takes to win and to defeat the enemy. And it's a good lesson for back then and for tomorrow. Thank you for your time.